the appetizer. A good decent woman who was always thankful to Allah never got upset except from her husband's actions who didn't spend enough time with her nor her three children. He would always look at other women and never look away. She always prayed for his repentance from his sickness. One night, the woman was dreaming of her oldest 17-year-old son lighting a match while getting it closer to his eyes till his eyes turned red. She woke up instantly, freaked out, praying to Allah the cursed devil goes away. She paced up to her son's room to make sure he was okay. While she was at it, she found his son on his laptop watching porn. Her son didn't realize that she was there while she was standing right there surprised as any mother would be, not knowing what to do. Was she supposed to scream at him and punish him or just kick him out? She ended up going to her room praying to Allah to inspire her with a good action to take in such a situation. On the next morning, right before her little boy goes to school, she called for him and asked him, What does a hungry man do to feel fulfilled? Her son answered quickly, He goes to a restaurant and buys some food till it's enough for him. The mother said, what does he do if he doesn't have any money on him or the time to go? The boy remained silent till the mother said, What would you say if the man bought little food to open his appetite? The son said, He's crazy. Why would he open his appetite if he doesn't have the money to get more food? The mother smiled while saying, You do the exact same thing with watching those dirty movies that open your appetite to women. What you're doing is even crazier than the guy we were talking about. At least his actions aren't considered haram, unlike yours. What you're doing is far worse and it angers Allah as he said in his Quran, O Prophet, tell the believing men to lower their gaze and guard their chastity. This is purer for them. The boy stood there with shame, swearing to Allah that he would never repeat such an action. When the father woke up in the afternoon, the wife told him everything and then said, Allah will punish you for your disobedience through your son whom you neglected along with his brothers, just like how you neglected me. Watch out for yourself and ask for repentance before it's too late. The father got upset and blamed himself as he apologized to his good wife. Afterwards, he repented to Allah, did wudu, prayed to Allah, and asked for his mercy and forgiveness. Sari'u ila maghfiratin min rabbikum wa jannatin arduha as-samawatu wal ardu u'iddat lil muttaqeen الذين ينفقون في السراء والضراء والكاظمين الغيظ والعافين عن الناس والعافين عن الناس والله يحب المحسنين والذين إذا فعلوا فاحشة أو ظلموا فسهم ذكر الله فاستغفروا لذنوبهم ومن يغفر الذنوب إلا الله ولم يصروا على ما فعلوا وهم يعلمون أولئك جزاؤهم مغفرة من ربهم وجنات تجري من تحتها الأنهار خالدين فيها ونعم أجر العاملين